I came to the Austin Capitol Rally because like most teachers, I was more concerned about my students than my job. I can retire in a year or two, but many of my students will have no future without an education. I've been involved in journalism and teaching journalism most of my adult life. So when my students ask me how long I've taught, I usually tell them that dinosaurs walked the earth when I began teaching. Now the difference between a novice teacher and veteran is that the veteran knows most everything a student will ask in advance and has the experience to handle problems. Unfortunately, since many first-year teachers in Texas face layoff, they may never get the opportunity to master an important skill that props up our society. Another important question is, how many students will go on to teaching when there are no teaching jobs? You might say I'm an alarmist, but when you lay off teachers, close schools, eliminate special needs programs, and cut money for students to attend college, what kind of future will kids have? And what will our society become? My grandfather was very excited when he came to Texas from East Europe. He wrote his family and told them, this is a great country with intelligent people of strong character. I sometimes wonder what he would say now. The Texas Save Our Schools March and Rally might have given him some hope. My name is Gail Sampley and I'm from Humble ISD. You asked me why we're here. We're here to save Texas schools. We're here asking for the legislators to use the rainy day fund. And we are here because in Humble with a $230 million budget, we're going to have to cut between $31 and $41 million out of that. We have taxed our property owners to the extent we can't do it anymore. We've done everything we can to educate the kids in Humble ISD and now we need help from Austin. And so that's why we're here, to tell the legislators it's time to save Texas schools. Now, where are you from? I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Okay. And the reason I'm, not, the reason I'm here is to fight for the right of our children to a good, quality public education. If the government cuts our funding, this will reduce our educational system to a third rate uh, system, which is unacceptable across Texas. Thank you. You're a teacher or? No, I'm a parent. And this okay. Is my boy over here. I teach uh, sixth grade language arts in um, uh, Magnolia, Bear Branch Junior High School. I came because I wanted to represent my school system and we wanted a large number of teachers here so that there would be a big crowd and we could contribute to that. I came because I want the legislature to get into the rainy day fund and um, leave no teacher behind, so to speak, and uh, uh, my son came because he's supporting me. Okay, why'd you come? I come. I came just to support my mom because she's a school teacher, and my dad is a school superintendent, so, uh, you know, both of my parents are in the school and the education program, so that's basically why I came. to give them a voice in their future because that's what we're here for. We have to give our kids a future and we need teachers to do that. Virginia Governor, State and Local Representatives. Thank so you. tell us about your website. It's texascurriculum.org. Basically you just go to the website, we've got letters written, you formulate them, put your name on it, it goes to the Governor, Lieutenant Governor, State and Local Representative. Uh, texascurriculum.org. Just go there, check it out. We've got videos, interviews with various textbook representatives, legislative representatives. It's just a good system. TexasCurriculum.org. Thank you. Leadership. Leadership is about finding solutions. We need to find a solution. The future of Texas depends on it. Thomas Jefferson made it very clear when he said, if a nation expects to be ignorant and free, 
It expects what never was and never will be. We need to believe in our legacy and the, what we are going to leave to our children. And the book of Proverbs says it also very clearly. It says, where there is no vision, the people perish. We believe in what we are in Texas. We believe not only in education, we believe in our public school system. Thank you very much. So where is Zilker Elementary School? It's in uh, central Austin. We're um, on the west side of Lamar, Blue Bonnet Street. Why do you feel it's worth saving? Well, it's an exemplary school. It has reached, uh, for the last two or three years in a row, it has met all the standards of uh, the highest grade uh, achievement. What do they want to close with? I don't know. All of the information that they gave us that they used to uh, justify closing it was either incorrect or basically incomplete, not true. It made no sense at all. And that's why we're here to remind them of that. Thank you. Are you a cat lover? A what? Are you a cat lover? I'm not. I'm a school lover. <laughs> a school lover. So what would you tell Rick Perry if you could talk to him right now? Um, I would tell him that we have to make education a priority. I think it's, our message very, is very simple. But Texas has to do a whole lot more than rally in Austin during spring break to save our schools.